What's Hello. up? Welcome to our channel. This is Selena. I'm Olivia. And, and I'm this Olivia. is River. We are going to FaceTime Rod because this is our nighttime routine. And this is our last night, all of us together here. Mm. But before we do that, we have to remind them to like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications so you can see when we post a new video. <laughs> so you can see when we post a new video, make sure to comment and share to a friend, please. Yeah, what she said. So we're gonna get Rod on the phone, but he doesn't actually know we're making this video. <clears throat> you, agree. you have to um, subscribe if you think he should marry you. Mm -hmm. Or just subscribe because you like our channel. Either that too. Way. It's called Mac B Mama. Make sure to check out all of our videos. Um, we're gonna let him know that we are live on our prayer time. He might, but not he just doesn't know at the moment. He just doesn't like being on camera. But you won't see his face, just his voice. And do they know where we're going tomorrow? Where are we going tomorrow, River? We are. Going somewhere at two in the morning just to go to um, what's it called? Iowa. Yeah, that place. So tomorrow is Good Friday, and we are going to Iowa. That's where Rod's mom lives, and she lives in a little bitty town out there. And they have a farm, and they have big gym. Big gym. The girls tend to have thing for. He mm. is a... A juicy steak. <laughs> According to River, he's a juicy steak. He's actually a bull? Yeah, bull. No, he's not. <laughs> what he's, is he? He's just a boy cow. He doesn't have he doesn't have horns. What's a boy cow called? A boy cow. No. <laughs> a boy cow is called a bull. I think you're talking... But he doesn't have horns. He's not a rodeo bull. No, what's it called? A longhorn. Those are the ones that have horns. A longhorn has well, horns that are like this. No, they come out. So here's the thing, though. Visible. We are going to Iowa for Easter to visit Rod, his mom, family, like his brother and his sister-in-law. Sister and they have a horse and, and three cats. I'm going to try to ride the horse. Okay, and I'm going to try and pet the cats. Those are all really good ideas. I know. And I'm bringing my binoculars so I can see, um, so I can see eagles and owls. And by the way, if you're wondering, you haven't introduced us to someone, this is Mr. Piggy. Mr. Piggy has bunny ears. Say hello, Mr. Piggy. Wait. He's cute. Um, well, what I was going to say is that Rod is going to take River all the way back to South Dakota. So we're meeting in Iowa. She's going to take the rest of the trip back. Hey, it's Bob Ross. <laughs> um, and he's so, yeah, so his. on Monday, she'll be there. So we're going to be in Iowa Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So you will, you'll get to see some of what we're doing over the weekend because we want to share it with you. So let's get Rod on the phone, okay? But... Bob Ross isn't wearing his curly hair or eating his paintbrush. Okay. Bob Ross, say hi. I'm calling. This is Rod, by the way. You haven't seen him in our videos. Hello. Hello. I'm listening to George Street. Well, that's very good. Say hello. Hello. Hi, River. Hi. So we have a plan for right now that we didn't fill you in on, but we're in the middle of doing it, so you're part of it. We are recording. Did you hear me? We are recording. We are recording. Okay, you heard me. Well, oh, please don't squeak. So that we can capture our prayer and share it with anyone that decides to tune in on YouTube for our channel. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have told you that so you could just be yourself and then afterwards no, I could have told you. No, this is good. 
I'm just not real high into the public spotlight, but hey, it's okay. That's why the they're looking at the, the back of my phone. Huh? That's why they're looking at the back of my phone and not your face. The purpose is right, so that's good. <laughs> okay. But you do have to make sure that we can hear you. So, are you done being silly? Yeah. They don't get silly, do they? River, what's that? That's, what's that? That's her mouthing everything that you're <laughs> saying. Oh, well, yeah, you don't get silly. Go start. I told her that your face was like a bear and it hibernates in the winter. <laughs> I hope that's a teddy bear. Yeah, any bear that hibernates. Okay. But teddy bear works. Okay, let's pray because we all have somewhere to be in the morning. And that means we need to sleep. You too, Rob. Right. Okay. So you should I start? Yes, we're ready. Good night, our dear Jesus. The one we love best. Our work is now finished. Now we must rest. This day you have blessed us. So bless us tonight. And keep us from danger. All morning and night. Amen. 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 And maybe we should even do our devo... Excuse me, our devotional. Do you have the devotional right there? I do, I got it right here. Perfect. Actually. Well, we're ready. I feel good for that. Yes, absolutely. <clears> the <throat> is the 14th. The Tunnel of Faith. The underground tunnel was dark and damp. Sometimes water dripped from the ceiling and made puddles on the concrete floor. Small openings let in a little extra light <clears throat> Some even said that bats lived in the tunnel. Students at the college used the tunnel a lot because it connected two buildings. They appreciated having it there. One day the electricity was cut off and the dimly lit tunnel suddenly became pitch dark. Some of the students caught in the tunnel became frightened and had no idea how to get out. <clears throat> But a blind girl was in the tunnel, too. She was used to not being able to see, so it was easy for her to get out of the tunnel. She led the others to safety. Abraham was led safely by God. He had faith to let God guide him, even though he didn't know where God was taking him. The Lord led him, the Lord led him from his former home to the beautiful land of Canaan. We can have faith like that of Abraham, even when we don't understand what is happening in our lives. We can trust God, God's love for us. He knows what is best, and he will guide us out of our dark tunnels. Romans 8.32 reminds us, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also? along with him, graciously give us all things. So, how do you know that you can rely on God, God to take care of you? Either of you have an answer? Sure, you want. Okay, so you said, how do you know that you can rely on God to take care of you? And River said, pray to him. Oh, good answer. That is a good answer. Mm. Go to church, pray to him, talk about him, talk to him, ask him questions, 
let him lead you through your life. Red for Let him decide what choices you should make and which ones you shouldn't. Let him be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Mm -hmm. What's that? I said also a good answer. Yeah. That was so, a verse I remembered from church. Good job. Can you repeat the question for me, please? How do you know that you can rely on God to take care of you? I got an answer. Okay, you go. So I am 54 years old, and over that 54 years, there have been several times where I've been challenged by things, and he always has. So he's built a really good track record. Just had a birthday. And a laugh. So I know that I can rely on God to always take care of me because we are told in the Bible that God will never leave us or forsake us. And as long as we put our trust and our faith in Him and we seek to please Him, then He will never steer us wrong. And it's important for us to pray to God because that's how we talk to him. But it's also important for us to read his word because that's how he speaks to us. You know, and I think the other thing that you said there was seek to please him. Mm -hmm. It's more than a one-way street. Yeah. So we also got to reach out, um, try to abide I have a question. My question is, um, well, it's not more, it's more of a statement, not a question. It's the same birth, verse. God is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. But if I don't trust God with my spirit, that would be like sending, sending, putting a candle by a wooden basket. It would catch fire, kind of like the devil would grab a hold of your spirit. But if you took the lamp or the candle and put it somewhere where it wouldn't catch fire, that would be saving yourself from sin. So you don't want to hide your light under a bushel basket. You want to have your light on a lampstand, right? Mm -hmm. That's one right. of my verses. But also you want your light to be on a lampstand because then other people can see it too, right? If it's hidden, then no one can see it, right? And shall the people see it? So, um, River has Bob Ross over here. I don't know if you've seen him. Have you seen him recently? Who's that? That's Bob Ross. His eyes are uh -oh. And that's what happens when you kick the stand. Hold on, we'll set you back up. <laughs> hey, now we get to see what happens. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, can you work on holding your body still? Yeah. Thank you. Bob Ross, what happened to your eye? <sighs> Oh, just a normal dog. Okay. I don't even know where we were at a minute ago. Um, is there a second question? Did you have anything to say, River? About what? Um, about anything we were just talking about. Nope. Okay. So there, there is a second question to that discussion. How would you tell someone else that you believe about God's guidance in your life. How would you tell someone else that you believe about God's guidance in your life? How would you tell someone else that you believe about God's guidance in your life? I think Olivia answered that with the light, with the light on the lampstand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. River's mouth is glowing. Glowing? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so how, how would you tell someone else, can you say it one more time? How would you tell someone else about God's... How, how would you tell someone else that you believe about God's guidance in your life? That you believe... So I think it's about uh, telling other people about your belief mm -hmm. that you trust or have faith in God. How do you share that? I think is the question. How do you share God to other people? How do you share God to other people? I share God to other people. Oh, well, you can share? Mm -hmm. Well, oh, sorry. It's here. okay. How about if you go first? You can share him by telling your friends about him. You can tell a lot of people about him, not just your friends. And you can also share him with family and friends. And strangers, but. You know. Well, how would you share them though? What, I mean, just in talking, how would you? What would you say? Like just, I don't know. Um, a good sentence would be, you should. It's you might want to believe in God because one day you're gonna be on your knees begging for Him to come and save you. Well, you could say something like that, or maybe you could just invite them to church. <laughs> that sounds a little bit more psycho. <laughs> <laughs> but I River, psycho. but River, I got a hundred catalyst cash for inviting you. Yeah, you did. You did. We have friend day on April 3rd. That was this year, yes. So, yeah. But really though, um, how would you share God with others? Could you say, oh, guess what I did? Or guess what happened to me? And share a story about something that you did where maybe you heard a good song that was a worship song or you saw God do something good in your life. Could you share that? Do you have a true story about something like that? Can you think of a story or an example? No. Olivia, what would you like to say? There's a song I know that um that sta that stands out to me that I really like that we sing every every once in a while at church and it goes, "You will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. You will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Hey, I love that song." It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you could share that with people, right? Mm -hmm. And then share your excitement with them? And when we do it at our church, once you do the second time that you say, you will never fade away, and all the other words, then we go, woo! And Pastor Caleb puts his arm up in the air and starts jumping and twirling at the same time. And he gets really energetic. I, at the end, he always throws candy. And he gives he them. throws candy so yeah. much. He takes <laughs> well, like five big to children's church. I five know. Five to seven big handfuls. And like and he tosses. Is and he's, chocolate? It's that like twigs, twigs. I don't want Jolly Ranchers. I would give you some, but it's in the car. I just want chocolate. Yep, I got a little chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got some. I got some. Uh, some nice yummy Reese's. Ooh, those are yummy. You know what I was just thinking? Do you have an answer? Uh, I'm sorry, I've been enjoying the conversation. <laughs> That's okay. I have an answer while you're thinking. Okay, go. How can we share Jesus? Yeah. We're doing it right now. We are. We're sharing, we're sharing Jesus with each other and we're sharing Jesus with anyone that's watching us because we decided that we wanted to record our prayer tonight. And how cool is that? Because this is a prayer that other people can learn. And then to see that we're doing a devotional time and having good conversation might inspire somebody. And maybe they'll want to have, I'm talking to you guys, maybe you'll want to have your own devotional or your own prayer time. Bob oh, Ross is glowing now. <laughs> and now the frog has a glowy thing. <laughs> and do they, all, do they all know that we're not like a correct family? 
No, we're not a direct family. We have Olivia, who is my daughter. River, who I have more recently called my adopted daughter. Mm -hmm. And you, who I'm seeing. No, he's your new husband. Yeah. Ron, yeah. hurry up. We've been waiting. We've been waiting too long. We've been waiting for a year. You know what? But here again, we're working with God on our timeline on that. That's God's timeline. Yeah. You know what I think? Good answer. You, you know should what? propose on Easter. On Easter? Yes. And let's get it on camera, too. <laughs> Make sure you oh, leave oh, us a private moment. You won't be there when that happens. Oh. <laughs> You'll hear about it afterwards, but not at the moment. You know what I think people should hear? But yeah. I will say, all three of these girls are my girls. We are. I'm not, some of my other girls, because I got, like, grand. A lot of girls. I've got <laughs> other girls. You got Bob Ross. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, I was with him tonight, I guess. So, a day or two or three ago, in this past week, um, there was a question. And it went something like, why should you enjoy every day you live on Earth? And my answer was, you should enjoy every day that God gives you on earth because there, ne there might not be a next day on earth. There, there will always be another day in heaven if you're Christian. There will always be another day in heaven. You'll be in heaven for infinity if you go there. But there's, there's not, you're not going to stay on this earth forever. So enjoy every day that you have on earth. And then hey, did you, you know can that, enjoy all the days you have in heaven. Did you know that that's true? But I have one more question for you. Can you take anything to heaven with you? Sadly not. Can you take anything to heaven with you? Yeah, I'll take Bob Ross. <laughs> no, really. Can you take anything to heaven with you? Yeah. What? If, you, if it gets buried with you. Sure. Well, if it gets buried with you, it's buried. Can you take anything to heaven? Yes. What? Well, if God wants you to have it, then you have What it. can you take to heaven? I'll take anything to heaven. Rod. I'll take this. I'll take Rod heaven. I'll take oh, this. Hold on, hold on, hold I'll on. I'll take this. Wait a second. I'll take this. I'll take you. I think I'll take you too. Come here. I'll take you. Never. I'll take you. We're not ready yet. Rod, do you have an answer? Can you take anything with you to heaven? So, I listened to this um, uh, song, and it's really kind of a song, but it's a hymn, and basically it says that uh, there is never a U-Haul pulled behind a hearse. There is never a U-Haul behind a hearse. This is so true, but I have the answer, and I'm so excited to share it. Well, Maybe. share it then. <laughs> you can take other people. The only thing that you can do is lead other people to Christ. That is the only thing. So other people can come to heaven and you may be part of how they get there. And that's why right. you share right. Jesus before, with everybody. Before we, before we die, though. Before we die. You have to do it before you die because once you die, you're no longer on earth to share. Right. And that's why we're sharing today. Yes. You know what I think we should do right now? River. Go to sleep. River. Do you do you remember even a little bit when we went to Sky Zone with your mom and Olive Garden? So we recently were talking about having gone to Sky Zone and Olive Garden and River was like, I don't remember. Well, I think I still have my Sky Zone socks. I do. You can have them as a souvenir if you'd like. You do have smaller feet than me. Did you bring, do you still have yours? Yeah. Okay. That day when we went to Sky Zone, your mom and I had a conversation about her believing in Jesus. And she said, absolutely, 100%. She knew exactly where she was going. And she knew she was gonna go to heaven and she was gonna be with Jesus. 
I want to have that much certainty. I think anybody would have who has that much certainty. I thought we were all going to discuss. We did. We so that's a question for the people who are out there that don't know what was her mom's situation. So, am I allowed to share that? Mm, I guess. You guess? It's okay if not, honey. It's, it's up, up to you. you. Okay. Okay, so. River's mom, my friend Tracy, had cancer and she passed away when River was seven years old. It was 2018. And she knew without a doubt that she was going to heaven. She had time to prepare some things here on earth. And that at the same time, she also had a chance to share with me that she knew she was gonna to go to heaven. And it doesn't matter how you live your life. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter the choices that you make along the way. If you make mistakes, there's always a chance to say, I'm sorry. And there's a pastor that I really enjoy talking to. And he said, it's progression, not perfection. And so I really like that because I know that I have made my own share of mistakes and done things that I wish that I could change. Yeah. And I think anybody who's old enough to understand the difference between right and wrong could say that. But We're all good with progression. You can always say I'm sorry and God offers forgiveness, which is amazing. And you know what I think we should do right now? Sleep. No. Something way more important. No. Nothing's important. Than well, we do need rest. sleep. I think right now, Beth, because you said it's progression, not perfection. I think we should progress the world right now. So if you're watching. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. We can't progress the world. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just funny the way you said it, but I understand where you're going. Never mind. No, don't never mind. You want to oh, share Jesus with that. everybody, and that's important. I just thought yeah, it was cute. You fool, Olivia. Bedtime. So, do you want to pray a prayer to accept Jesus into your heart? Mom, I wasn't done talking. I'm sorry, I interrupted. You're forgiving. Was blood on the phone when I fell asleep last night? <laughs> or no? No, ma'am. The day before that? I don't remember. But Olivia's going to say something, and then I think we're going to wrap it up. And then if you want to say something, you can, but then we're really going to wrap it up, okay? So it's progression, not perfection. So I think we should try and progress the people out here that are watching right now. And I think we should pray. So if you want to accept Jesus into your heart, I want you to repeat after me. Okay, but I... Hold on, time out before you start your prayer. We can't progress other people they have to do it themselves so i yep, think the correct, be something they want. the correct way of saying it is that if you river come here for just a second you can you can play later <laughs> okay bob ross i see bob ross <laughs> bob ross give me a high five <laughs> okay you. pop your head up here for a second girlfriend Bob Ross, back down. Okay. There you go. Oh, hi, River. So, <laughs> anyone that wants to accept Jesus can do that. And it's a personal thing. And you don't have to broadcast it. The way that you live your life will be obvious to the people around you. And sometimes it means that you have to change the people around you. But God will help you with that. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, if you do make the decision to accept Jesus into your heart, then you can do that at any point in time. And it's not because we progressed you, as you said, Missy, but people can be a catalyst. That means that you can help. So, so God can flow through us catalyst to other people. Helps. Yeah, that's kind of how that Catalyst Kids comes about. But that's how you get your name for your church. church. God may work in their hearts. Right. Well, 
bow our heads, close our eyes. Now repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for all the time and effort you put in us to make us perfect. But none of us are perfect except for you. Thank you for all the time and effort you put into us to make us perfect, but none of us are perfect except for you. Please accept this. Please accept us into your hearts. Please, ex please come into our hearts. Please come into our hearts. And help us and forgive our sins. Help us and forgive our sins. And please make sure that whatever we do wrong, you make sure that you can help us make it right. Please make sure you help us make whatever we do wrong right. Please help us make our wrongs whatever we do wrong, wrong. right. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> no, just a moment. We're praying. I know. And so, Jesus, we ask that you would help cleanse us of our sins as we offer them to you in true forgiveness. Please forgive us our sins. And please, and please give us time and give us everything we need to survive until we can come to you. God, we ask that you would give us time and what we need to sustain us here on earth. And we, and we pray that we are able to enjoy every life like there is not another. And we pray that we can enjoy every day like there is not another. We pray that we can enjoy each day as if it is our last. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. As we say it, Catholic kids, gracias y amen. Or you could just say amen. Amen. So what I think is cool about that prayer is that it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be scripted. The biggest thing about it is that it comes from the heart. It's genuine. It's genuine. And I might have messed up a few words there, but that's because I'm only nine and I don't have the best vocabulary. I think you did a fantastic job. Yeah, you did, honey. And your heart is in the right place. What were you going to say? I said, yeah, she did a fine job, honey. You did great. Well, the thing is, it's kind of it's kind of difficult difficult because it's not... You're just petting a random frog. Because... It's not easy to say things before you've said them before. So this wasn't scripted. It was just made up on the way. Right. It came from your heart. So I'm going to show our viewers what you're holding. So keep the keep it that way. Who so is that? This is Kelowna. What's her name? Kelowna. Kelowna. Yeah, Kelowna's a donkey. Kelowna the donkey and Bob Ross the frog. What's what she made out of? Kelowna? What's she made out of? Uh, probably the same thing as the frog. Did you buy her? When I was a little boy, I got Kelowna, yes. So I've had Kelowna for, uh, I don't know, 40 years. Hold this, please. I think. I think Kelowna is gorgeous. We have a problem. Oh, she likes what you say. What? Mine is gone. Where is it? I don't understand what she's saying, though. Olivia, where's mine? Oh, we have another guest. Hold on. We need to name him. We're going to name him Charlie. Charlie Horse. 
That's cute. He's asking me what's funny about it. That's a horse. I get Charlie horse all the time. <laughs> that donkey scares me. <laughs> Olivia, I'm going to need my hammy. I'm kind of sad. I have my spot for exactly where I want my hammy, and he wasn't there. He's been yeah. moved. Where's hammy? Oh, Hammy, hold on, he's resurfacing. <laughs> okay, a free this kids puppet show is Hammy. Let me help you, Mom. Oh, the hamster. Hey, Hammy. River. The hamster. Oh, one for each of us. Watch where you step, daughter. Look at him. He's happy. He's cleaning his face. I like that one. <laughs> I like rods. <laughs> it's lips. Hey, honey. Look at we have all kinds <laughs> of extra friends here today. We have Hammy, Charlie, Charlie. We all got farm animals. Charlie, Bob Ross, and what'd you say? Kelowna. Kelowna. Yeah, because I got her in Kelowna, Iowa. Oh, I see. Uh, I got a blanket under me. Okay. This is. Charlie, this is Hammy, this is Kelowna. River, where's Bob Ross? She's Maybe. got him. And this is hold Bob Ross. Still. Hold, hold Kelowna still. There, well, we have a well, bunch. Kelowna kind of wants to be a rock star, so she does a lot of head bobbing. <laughs> and then this is Bob hey, Ross. Bob Ross is getting mended. We saw Bob Ross a little bit ago. So, anyhow, these are our friends. Hi. He's in say surgery. Hi. Can you say hi to our. Yeah. Say hi. He's in surgery. Yay. Hold Kelowna still for a minute so we can get them all lined up. Bring Bob Ross up here. Okay. One, two, three. Cheese. <laughs> Bob Ross won that. <laughs> Wait, what does Kelowna look like? <laughs> Here, bring Bob Ross up a little bit. Aw, close his mouth so we can see his eyes. Aw, look, we're cute. He looks like Kermit. Well, Charlie the horse is awesome. I think, can we get a horse and name it Charlie? I like Charlie horse too. I want to see Charlie horse. I haven't fully seen Charlie horse. I found Charlie horse, but I haven't seen Charlie horse. Oh, there he is. Okay, well, girls, Bob Ross is in surgery. We have to get up very early. Yeah, you do. And I need to be the driver. So, Bob Ross is, is over 11 years old. It's time to say goodnight back to rubs. our back rubs. friends at home, to our little puppet friends, and to each other. Have a nice life because I'm going to probably see them again. Aww. Why would you say that? I don't know. You cannot say that because you know you will see them again. In fact, we have a few days in Iowa. Hey. And we can all bring our friends. Hey, bring bring Kelowna. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool? We can bring Kelowna and then they can meet in person. <laughs> and Charlie, do you want to come? We're going to have a regular old zoo. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to the farm? We're gonna have a zoo on the farm. Do you want to stay home? Charlie, just stay out of my leg. <laughs> Wait, fun. Rod, why won't you bring Misty? It would be fair. Well, Misty would love to come. We, exactly. We are going. For people who are listening, Misty is my border collie, and she would love to come. But we got a lot of people that we're gonna have in a small house. Right. So we're going so to leave puppies stay, home. But I tell you what, River, some other time we can, you can uh, get together with Misty, okay? Okay. Yeah. She would love that. If you would throw the ball for her, she would love that. Okay. Oh, I got her a new ball. Actually, she did. She found a ball and she said, this is for Misty. <laughs> That's awesome. 
It sure. might give her a disease, though. <laughs> it was in no. the biggest lake ever. It was in the lake, but she... That leads to Canada. She got it. Okay. Well, you guys at home, we're going to say goodnight for now. Goodnight for now. Bye. Goodnight for now. Goodnight for now. Bye. Goodnight for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, we already said this, share, turn, turn on, on bell, bell notifications, notifications, comment, and share to a friend, as mom said. Okay, Bob, Bye, guys. she's done for surgery. Bye.